Hello, 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 my friend. Um, just wanted to jump on and spend a little time with you if I can for I don't know how long. Hi, Allie. How are you? For anybody who doesn't know, my name is Kathy Grillo. And you can contact me at Kathy Grillo Design at Yahoo.com. I'm on Facebook. If you like my page, that would be awesome. My brand new pages, so I can use some likes. And also on Instagram. And of course, here, you just got finished painting. I'm just going to start a little project here today. Um, I did some of the boring stuff. So, please follow me if you're interested in art and stuff. That would be great. I'd love to get to know you, see you around more. So, bring up my Corel Painter. I have a little mini sketch here. I'm going to do a portrait of an Affin Fincher. <laughs> I have a cute little face I was kind of working with. You can kind of see it sketched there. Um, so I, I kind of like to get my sketches before I go live because it's boring. <laughs> Especially when I mess up and I have to like erase you know, or whatever. Um, so new, learning about layers, I have my sketch layer. The first layer I like to put under my sketch because I am... Um, the sketch is going to be a guideline for the whole drawing, and it will not be there at the end. So this one here is going to be... Um, ooh, should we go specific and just go eyes? Let's try it. I'm going to make a bun. I don't know how many layers I'll end up with having. It usually is just what I feel like. So when I draw, I do like to start with the eyes, because I think if you get the eyes or paint or whatever. I think if you get the eyes right, um, the rest of the drawing will follow with it because the eyes are the soul. So I'm going to just zoom in and look at his little eyeballs here. Just kind of get a feel for it. And digital is great because I can snag some colors and adjust them a little bit get a little bit of um, some funky stuff or what I want to put in there. So, oh, first of all, what medium do I want to use? What medium should I try painting in today? Huh. I think I did an acrylics last time. Um, let's try, let's try oils. I'm going to do an oil painting today. So, I need a Grainy brush, dry, crumpled brush, oily brush. Ah, I want a nice small brush. Let's see. Wet, flat. I'm not an oil painter, so this is kind of uh <laughs> Let's try a flat opaque. That might work. And I'm going to... All right. No, I don't want this one. Thank you. All right. Ooh, it's... Let me see what it does. Let me see what it does. Oh no, I don't want that brush. So this is, I'm still learning all the brushes and what they do. So I'm sorry, I should have, I should have figured this one out too, huh? This one might be better. Tapered. Real tapered. Okay. All right, there we go. That's what I want. But I don't want it that small. So, lovely digital. Let's make it a little bigger. Oh, I made a mark. See, normally you'd be like, oh my god, I made a mark. And you'd be freaking out. I just got rid of it. Anyway, so what's that? what did you paint today? I'm curious to know. If you want to share, that would be great. And now, see, so you see these lines because the my sketch is over top. Hi, how are you? What's going on, Larissa? So you'll you'll see these lines because my sketch is over top, and I'm just doing that as a guideline right now until I get some basic um, features in, and then they'll go away, and I'll straighten everything up. 
So, nice little digital, uh, cheat. No, buddies! It's just, um, it's just an F and pitch, pincher. I just felt like practicing a dog and, you know, being something else to put up there is like, I can do this. I'm kind of working on what I can and can't do. You know? Where is, oh, my husband, oh. I went out and did this today. Let me show you. So this will be, there will be a picture. Oh my gosh, can you see? <laughs> I like standing this up. Oh. So, we went and frame, got the, a frame for that today. And, oh, it's so blurry because of the light in here. And the computer. Anyway, so we put it in a frame today. You can see some of the glitter. Oh. And, um, there you go. And then that will be going out to our friend. My husband's going to take it to work and send it out. And then hopefully maybe they'll spread the word about those. And some little girl's parents might want to have some uh, paintings done. You never know. So, yeah, today I was like, yeah. We'll work on a little dog for a little bit. Practice a different medium here. I'm doing it on um, with oils. I'm going to add in some different colors and play around a little bit. What were you up to today, Miss Larissa? As I said, I'm not like a major oil painter person. I'll throw a highlight in. I'll throw a highlight in over here. And uh... Hi, how are you? These colors will get blended in a little better when I'm done. All right. We're taking artistic license because you really cannot see the light of this dog's eyes. But my, in my uh, experience, if you can't see a little white of the eye, then a lot of people have a hard time with the eyes. So, all right. Let's doodle off the sketch, lay in of eyes. And it's literally what I have right now. It's just a lay in of it. I might like this, I might hate it. I might be like, oh, I don't like doing the oils. I don't know. We're just experimenting, <laughs> figuring it out, figuring it out. Should be making dinner. <laughs> I don't want to. So I said, I'm going to be on here for a little bit. Probably not too long. Get a little. A little nose in. I want the darker color on the edge just to define it a little bit. Because all this will get bleared in and blended and messed up with later as I go around and play around with it. That's not much lighter. I want it really lighter. Anyway, you guys are quiet. You're saying too much today. 
I just I just woke up from like a nap, so I guess I'm a little awake now. Oh. Alright, and like once again, there's a nose. Yeah, I had not so good news today, and I ended up falling asleep and taking a nap, and next thing you know, it's like late. Oh. So, do some drying. I did it again. I don't want to be that close. I really don't. Oh, jeez. My brain is still functioning. I'm really trying to get a close up to look at this mouth. This dog has a cute little tongue and he's sticking out, but I'm really not quite sure what I want to do with it. But this is the very beginning and it might not look anything like this at the end, just so you say, because like sometimes I make decisions and I'm like, oh, I don't like that way and I'll end up changing it. For the most part right now, I'm just kind of, um, layering in some spaces, shapes. And I don't have, grr. I'm doing this sort of with a oil color and I don't I'm just playing with the oil colors I'm kind of trying to challenge myself to um, play around and do some do some drawings that I would normally do but with different mediums that I probably normally wouldn't use because I haven't you know experimented with a whole lot So, yeah, that's a nice rough sketching, I guess. All right, so I have the face laid out, basically. And then once I have the shapes in and I can get rid of the sketch, then it'll be more of, um, More of messing with the details to get it the way I want it to be. How can I possibly go on after I'm just waking up from this nap? How can that possibly even be? I don't know. I don't get it. Don't get it. Alright, so we're going to just kind of... And it's like laying in a basic shape of um, the way the fur goes. Hi, Halo. How are you today? I bet you are exhausted. After all that convention stuff, I would be exhausted. Ugh. I know, I couldn't even imagine. It looks like it's fun, but I don't even know if my old bones could do stuff like that. It was exhausting. I'm very loud. <laughs> it stinks getting old. You start thinking about stuff like that. <laughs> Man, I'm very loud. Oh, 
that must make it even worse. All right. So I'm just kind of... This probably will all change. I just wanted to find the mouth a little bit better. And this is a pretty fine... bristle here. Alright. Close my sketch on. Oh. <laughs> I did it on the same layer as uh, I get. I did it on the same layer as my sketch. O-M-G. So guess what, folks? This is something that if I, <laughs> this is my own mess up though. I can't believe it. I know. I'm like, OMG, I can't believe I just did that. Frustration, artist problems, God, God. Pay attention to your layers, God. Okay. Mm. I'm going to do front face. And I'm just, I'm new to all this layer stuff. So this is where I'm still learning. Front face. Because the layers can be your friend. Because what is, what is going to happen now is I can keep this part of the face in front of, I should have done the nose on a separate layer too. See, I'm still learning. But I can always keep the front of the face in front of the eyes. <laughs> so matter how I so I can do a complete eye and make it look exactly I want and then boom pop this part and it'll cover up those part of the eyes that I want it to cover and then the eyes will look like they're behind that fur. So that's the plan and I got sidetracked because I'm just being stupid today. I'm not paying attention. Pay attention, damn it. Pay attention. Alright. Telling you. Alright, so I just want to lay these back in again and get the nice little streaks of um just defining the shape. And do it all over again. Good practice. Good practice. And then, guess what, guys? It'll be even better this time. That's what I'm going to say. It's going to be better than it was. That's what mistakes are for. Mistakes are for you to make it even better than it was. Right. So I kind of just want to get the shape of how... What direction these little hairs kind of go, a little bit of their length, and because this is all stuff I'll come back to and play around, um, I'll play around the details with it and probably add a little different colors that aren't really there in real life and maybe funk it up a little bit. I don't know, I'm going to have some fun with it. And that's, that's the other thing I like about digital painting is I can have fun with it because if I do something that I absolutely hate, I just get rid of it and um, do it again a different way without ruining an entire painting and wasting all my supplies and getting all pissed off about it. And that's why I personally have um, wanted to try the digital because... 
I get really ticked off at myself. All right, as I'm now like getting out into a different layer, but I kind of want to define where that is to connect it in a bit. So see, I could take this front face gone, front face on, and it'll pop in and out on top of that. So now I'm actually kind of free to work. I mean, this is basically like the front whiskers. And then this will be like the midsection of the face. And then there's the back face. So I can layer all of these in and make them pop on top of each other, which I am learning how to do. So it's kind of what I'm doing, just sort of playing around. All right. So now I'm stretching out a little bit, see? Not so close on his little face. It's gonna kinda throw down some of these colors and get this midsection fleshed out. So we will do another layer. And it will go under the front of the face and we will call it mid face maybe, I don't know, mid. Face. Good enough. It's all for my, it's, I think it says Miff Face, just so you know. <laughs> I think I typed Miff Face, but oh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with this really dark color. And here's where it's cool. Like, see, I have this, and whatever I paint is not going to affect any of these lines. So I am free to kind of really get under here and, like, bring them up from where I want them to be without worrying about messing up my lighter tones that I wanted to bring forward. So I'm just getting directions in, and this stuff will all get smeared and, you know, played out as I go. So these lines will, you won't even probably see them when I'm done. It's just kind of tones and um, the directions of the hair right now. Let's see, so I know under here, this is what I love about layers. I can get this other direction going under here to define the eye a little more. And I could bring all this hair that really in real life is layered under this kind of out. So. All right. And you see his little hair kind of like swoops and like sort of like eyelashes. They sort of have like big eyelashes, these dogs. And he'll have some darker streaks up in here, kind of giving us, um, oh, the ears will be separate, so I'm just, just trying to decide on what I'm going to put on that part of the face and what I'm not, so I kind of like this little bit of a brown tone I want in. It's like black and brown and gray, this dog. Which, I'm challenging myself also to do dog breeds that I'm really not familiar with. And just kind of practice in case anybody ever wants a dog portrait done. I will not be like, oh, I don't like that dog. So, it's all, it's all good. I want to go to this layer here, actually. My front face layer. I just want to erase this little bit. So I'm going to add it in down here now, I think. Let's just add it. Okay. Go back to my myth face. That's what I wrote. M-I-F face. Ugh. All right. 
So I'm gonna blend this in like this. And so this will connect this layer to the other layer and it'll blend in a little bit. Yes, this will here. And you do take you you kind of take artistic license on what you kind of know is there because sometimes the pictures aren't the best or you know how you need to you know how you need to draw it in order for it to come across the way it needs to so this is all like really short hair right here and then salt and peppery hairline and so they have no white there's no white but I want some white to make his little chin pop and now we're gonna draw his beard here which oh, wrong tool hand thank you So this isn't the fun pretty part where everybody gets to see everything, but I was like, you know, everybody always sees like where it's halfway done and they don't necessarily get to see how things get started. So I said, I'm going to do a quick little scope of a general, you know, quick little layout. And whoever's interested could see. General, you know, just a quick little how things get kind of shaped, and I I lay in some basic colors and directions of hair. And this is just how I do it when with a painting. I'll just kind of let me fit it to the page again. Oh, you'll see I'm just kind of laying out the shapes. If I get rid of the sketch, this is what I have. And um, basically, it's just defining um, different levels of the fur. Because a real furry dog will have different levels to give dimension. And then once again, like dark pulls back, light pulls forward. Um, so I'm just kind of laying in how... The light hits a little bit and the colors will go from a lighter to a darker a little. And da -da -da. Okay, now see this is under the front face and I'm bringing in this beard here. It's almost like a, these dogs have a lot of layers. And I guess I kind of like dogs like this because of my little Chewy and I've been, um, I draw a lot of Shih Tzu's because I love them. Um, so, he has lighter over on this side obviously because this is where the light's coming from this way. And as you see, I'm not going this way. I'm coming reverse right now because I'm wanting to find the edge. So I'm going to bring this edge up into these. And this is the same thing when I did any of my pencil drawings. I kind of do the same thing, but I can jump back and forth into layers for this. Um, when I draw in pencil on a flat sheet, and I don't have the layers, I still always tend to do the eyes. And for dogs, the noses are really important because a lot of all the face here comes from a dog. So it'd be eyes, um, nose, and mouth, and you get those placed. And then the direction of the hair. And this, of course, the, the difference is if I was drawing with pencil and I couldn't erase and do everything, this would be done very lightly to get the flow of the hair and um, then I would come back section by section, usually the detail eyes, and then I would like start shading the eyes out. 
and work my way um, through, and you, and then I do a lot of, um, just a tip in case anybody's interested in drawing. When I draw in real life, and it'll be some in here too, a lot of negative space to bring things forward. So I'll come back, and a lot of the hair that's like in front of the eyes or a darker spot will actually be erase lines. So I'll use the eraser as a brush or a pencil. So <clears throat> erasers aren't always just for erasing. That's the tip, I guess. <laughs> when you erase, sometimes you're drawing. So, I see, I don't like that line. That's my favorite thing. I'm going to come in like I was. Hi, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I didn't even advertise this one because I didn't know how much time I was going to have. And I was like, ah, I'll just go on. I'll tell them I did it later. They can watch the replay. And then I have all my peeps showing up. I love my peeps. Make me so happy when everybody comes and says hi to me, even if it's for like five seconds. Okay. I'm just kind of sketching in the, like an outline of this little dog here. Um, they're kind of related. This is an Affin Pincher. Um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to start going through the AKC Kennel Club and practice drawing and, you know, do some general portraits. And I know, like, I see things with Shih Tzus on in them. I'm like, oh, so maybe... You know, somebody will buy something just because they have the same type of dog. You never know. I'm still working on the business end. I don't, you know, I don't need to do a lot. I just, it would be nice to sell a couple stuff here and there and pay for a boat or something. <laughs> so this is with the sketch. I'll show you really quick. This is what I have right now without the sketch. I'm just laying in um, directions of hair, some basic color. And um, setting up my layers of like the face and everything. I always, I always usually show this stuff when I'm like blending things in and a little farther down the line. And this is all a little. I didn't start with the sketching process because that's super boring when you're just figuring the layout. But let's see, because this. I did not. Karen who? The, which Karen? Karen Orr? Oh, does she catch her stuff? Does she put her stuff on catch or no? I was babysitting Thursday. That's probably why. Yeah. All right, well, bummer. Maybe I'll ask her to do another one for me. She might. She's a sweetie. She makes them so small. All right, so he has like this fluffy hair up there, and his his ears are pretty dark. I think that's like the characteristic is this is a lot lighter and these ears are going to be no, Oh, a baby portrait? Oh. Yeah, Siege, I'll make dinner soon. I just woke up. I wake dinner soon. I'm just going to lay out the shapes and then I will come and make dinner for you starving people. If you want, you can make a pot of water boil. I swear to God. Oh. My husband's next door helping the neighbors with their computer. Yeah. I fell asleep. See, that's the thing. I fell asleep, and so now I'm, like, way behind, but I'm like, eh. I don't care. I feel like drawing. My husband had to go help the neighbor next door, and I was like, oh, okay, go ahead. I'm going to, uh... Now, this is the important part on furry faces. Right underneath the eye here, 
you'll see how it like swoops and kind of goes up a little bit like really long eyelashes. And then there'll be a section under the face where the hair starts coming down to form like the beard part. And when you're drawing a dog, you kind of need to, def you, you can't really draw it exactly how you see it because you need to draw it to, um, you need to draw it to make the person be able to read that hair direction. So, it's always hard to explain. It's like, yeah, like if you really look, I'm suggesting, even in a detailed pencil drawing, if you get really close, a lot of it is suggestion of um, direction. You have to make them feel like they're looking at fur. All right, I want to make my reference a little bigger now because I want to see his body and how the fur is flowing. Um, bud. All right. Oh, they're still messing around with that one. I'm. I have her in my um, files here. I, that stuff is crazy, crazy, crazy. And I think right for now, I'm st when I talk to him again, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of draw what I want to draw. And I'm doing a lot of the dancers right now are practice because I did just show the one I framed for my friends. Because, like, I really want to just do the illustrations, kind of like Karen does bridal illustrations. But, like, you know, Dance Moms would send some stuff in. Yeah, I let her have it just to see. I was curious. It's no big deal. And she put out some challenge to people. And some people are putting it on fabric. And they're making, what are shakers, dashboards, whatever. Um, there's different stuff I'm looking to, into online. Like, I'm still in the process. I have some other things going on, which is why my design page got set up. I can't really talk about them yet. And... Uh, but so I need to set up a PayPal in case anybody's interested to make it a little easier. I just did a, fr that, a logo job was for a friend of mine that has a business back in Cleveland. Um, I mean, so yeah, there's some things going on. I just, you know, it's kind of slow. Got to put the word out say, hey, I'm willing to do these. I've been asked to do these before and, um. Sometimes I would. I have my own issues. <laughs> the confidence issues or not wanting to disappoint somebody. But I would do them for people that were close to me that I really, you know, and then I usually end up giving them away. <laughs> like my, a lot of my families have pictures of their dogs and like for Christmas or whatever. And yeah, it's like, okay. I feel bad that your pet died. Here's a picture of him. And no, don't worry about it. I have to stop doing that. So that's why if I have more of a, I figure if I have a little more of a presence, if somebody comes and asks, I'll have something to direct them to. Um, I'd like to just make some prints and oh, maybe some t-shirts and things like that. And so basically with my planner group, because I don't have I don't have the machines to cut stickers and get into all that, and there is a I did see there is a place online that manages. Yes, I am. Yes, there's a place online that manages digital downloads and things for you, where they have to get a code and. Uh, so that might be an option if that stuff takes off. Um, I think it's going to be more of right now. Hey. Love the interest. If you guys are interested and see something you want, uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, customize or change some of my art to be planner stuff if they really wanted it to. I don't think I'm really going to design for planner people, but, you know, like if they like the dancers... Sure. If you want to give me a few bucks, 
you can play around with it. I don't, you know, as long as you link to my name like that one girl did at the YouTube channel or something. So it'll be kind of a little side thing. I don't really feel like making, oh, it's 4th of July. I have to make a whole, I don't think I'm really into that right at this point. Because I'm very, very lucky, very lucky, where I don't need to make money doing this. I haven't, so I don't have to. Making money doing art would be like the dream. It'd be fun. It'd be, um, you know, better than a part-time job at some store, for sure. Which I wouldn't go and do anyway. But if I can make some nice little extra part-time money and I make some people, I, I really like making people happy. So if I could do something and make them happy at the same time, that would be awesome. So I'm just tired of giving it away. If that makes sense. If you draw, it might make sense. I mean, like the people I really care about, I don't care because I would do it anyway. And, um. Like, this is sad, don't be, oh, I'm so sorry, because I know it is. And this is this is why I was a little upset earlier, and that's why I'm drawing, to, to kind of get over it. My sister had to put her cat to sleep today after, you know, he was really sick, and he was in the hospital for a week, and we thought he was getting better, and then today he was not. So, yeah, it's sad, and I was really upset, because... We literally, like, she, I know she already spent the money trying to save him, and I was like, you know, you gave him a chance. At least, you know, you, you know, you did what you could do, and blah, blah, blah. But, so at some point, she'll probably get a picture of her cat. You know, like, that stuff doesn't bother me. But when I get, I get random people... And I'm sure everybody else kind of has, I, yeah, kind of, I guess. We just took my dog to the vet today for his shots, my little Chewy. We had to get up super early. That's probably another reason why I was tired. And our, we have a mobile vet, which he's so awesome. And he does it, I don't know what he does, man. He does it like seven days a week, this guy. And he travels around to different places and then, like, he's in, like, the tractor supply store or this pet shop or whatever so he could reach a lot of people that live farther out and he's very very affordable and he really really just cares about animals because otherwise there's no reason why he would do it so you have to and it's it's like a clinic so you don't really have an appointment so you kind of have to get there because believe me people show up so we were up and er, up. <laughs> we were up early. Hi, Karen. Look at see. Every time we talk about you, you show up. <laughs> Somebody just told me about your eye demo, and I was at work on Thursday and missed it, and now I'm sad. So you're, you're gonna next time you're doing one, you can show me how you do eyes, Karen. When you see me there, like I, I have no problem asking at this point. Okay. Oh, look what I did, Karen! Look, look, look. Since Karen's here, we're gonna show it off again. All right. It's in a. I have to back you up in a minute. Oh. It's in a frame, and um, oh, focus, focus! It won't focus because of the light. But uh, it's in a frame, and my husband's gonna—we're gonna send it to our friends. Thanks. Um, we're gonna send it to our friends. And then I'm just going to ask if she'll take it to the dance studio if she likes it. And I have 
I have another one of these that I painted and did for you yesterday. So when I get my act together and pick out something else for my sketchbook. Yeah. Sparkly! You see all the sparkles? So... That'd be nice. That would be nice. I want, I'm hoping that she likes it. My husband will say, hey, if you like it, take it to the dance studio if they want one. My whole thing is, I don't even know what to charge for that. So, I have to think of it, what to do. I don't know what those dance... I'll probably ask her. Her name's Karen, too. How about that? I say, Karen, you know those dance moms. That would be nice. And then the other plan is to do like these dog portraits. I'm thinking of taking a picture of a couple of them making a flyer and sticking it in the lobby of the pet store we go to, along with all the other pet crap they have up there. That people just stick on the window. As they walk in and out of the pet store, somebody might be like, oh, and then they can email me. <laughs> So this is without the sketch. It looks pretty. I'm probably almost to the point where I don't need the sketch. And of course, I did mid face, but it ended up being well. That's the front face. I did mid face, but it ended up really being the whole dog. <laughs> you can see, I, it's not the mid face. It's the whole dog. So that will have to get renamed. I put dog. I was just talking and never put it on a different layer. So now we'll just. We'll just work with it that way. Thanks. I'm just um, practicing, basically. I'm going to go through the kennel club and do the different dogs and keep them. And you never know. Somebody might want one because it's a dog that they have or like. You know, like I like Shih Tzu stuff. Or those planner people. I can always do it without the background like this. And here you go. Make what you want with them. Thanks for whatever. I don't know, I'm still looking into it. I just, like, really like people, like, it isn't really even about the money so much. It's about, like, making people, I like when people enjoy it. I know she got that terrible flu. I bet it's the flu. Oh, my sister. Did she send photos? Oh, God, I can't even look, you guys. My sister's just messaging me photos of them with, like, the cat at the vet and my niece, like, crying and holding her. I can't even take it. Oh, Why, pets? Why do you have to not live long? Get sick. That's not nice. A video, too, Carrie? Ugh. Okay, we well take care because I had that cold, I told you, and it's awful. So I thank you very, very much for uh, popping in here and spending a little time with me. And I'm going to get some stuff in the mail to you, uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, for Friday, I have off and I'll, I'm trying to get out there. I'm so bad at that because I don't like... My my agoraphobia makes me not want to leave the house. I need to run down to the post office by myself. So I'm like, oh. but I'll do it. It's not like the post office is crowded here. It's just I don't feel like going. Okay. Or just wait for mine if you want. And then it'll be on there because... I'm saying I'm going to get it out, and if I have a bad day, it might not happen, and then I feel bad. <laughs> Whereas, like, my husband will take this to work and mail big stuff out for me, but, you know. Yeah. It's one of the things I'm in therapy for working on, guys. <laughs> so I'm working on it. I don't care. Whatever you want to send me, all your stuff is great. Right. 
Yeah, well, maybe that's what you need. You might need... I know you have a lot of stuff in orders, and I know that pressure, but it's not going to get any better if you don't take care of yourself. All right, so let's see where I'm at. This is without the sketch. I'm, you know what, I'm sitting here thinking now, you guys, I'm probably going to end up, this is where people go crazy. I'm probably going to end this, this, um, up, but, <laughs> oh, this is where, this is where you all are going to go, what? Dogs with glitter? I don't, maybe if they had a fancy collar or something. I don't know. But here's where everybody's going to die, because I did this on the same layer, and I really don't like it on that layer. <laughs> so I'm erasing. I'm erasing it. For the way I want to kind of smear around it, I don't want it like that. Yeah, that would be, yeah. The collars. If they had a collar or like a little dress up thing and someone wanted it, the glitter would totally be appropriate. That's for sure. All right. I'm going to work on another dancer tomorrow, I think. Just drop a different one, different pose. Maybe a younger, like a younger kid. Look at the tiny totter. All right, I have eyes on and off. It's eyes, nose, mouth. Um, the front of the face. That little part there. Uh, and this was listed as dog, but I'm going to redo it and put face. Head, we'll put it on. face, and then I'm gonna add another layer for that. So then this way, I can um, what the layers, like I said before, they will let me isolate what I'm working on, and I can smear up stuff and not mess it up. Um, yeah, like, this is, this is just this basic, um, shape and outline I'm doing, some basic colors, and then I'll come in and I'll play with them a little bit, paint some more different brushes, blenders, then do some detail, and, um, but this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a drawing, and I never usually show the beginnings, because a lot of times it is kind of boring, because it's, um, a lot of, like, when you... When you figure it out, it's a lot of, uh, you know, somewhat back and forth. You're making the decisions of, do I want this or do I want that? Do I want that color? You know, it's, so that's boring. Just like here, like, up, oh, I don't want it on that layer, so now I'm going to redo it on this layer. And I want them to be basically the same color, but I kind of like when I'm painting it not to be super realistic. Um, like the Shih Tzu, I have some, a little bit of funky colors in there. So, like, I'll probably throw in maybe some dark purples or, um, a little bit of, like, orangey or something. You know, because he has a little bit, I'll show you. I mean, he has a little bit of color in here. He's not solid black. It's kind of a black and a gray. And there is some brown in there. But I could see some blue undertones, so I might do a couple, you know, blend in a little bit of blue, then blend in a little bit of, um, like a really light, um, you know, brownish color, you know, and that's what I'll play around with, which is fun for the undo. The undo's the best, because 
if I don't like it, I just get rid of it and I didn't destroy everything else I did before. Um, my layers, my layers are for, like this is the front of the face. When I click it off, you'll see it go away. And so what will happen is with the face part, which is underneath, if I um, color and blend, you know, totally paint this part of the face, and then I go and I want to do this part of the face, which needs to look in front of the eyes and really pop out a little bit from this part of the face, because this is the nose, the you know, the muzzle part. So I could um, blend this part and it'll come right on top of anything I did on the face layer. So that means that it's not going to blend anything I did under here. It won't change any of the painting that I do on um, this part. None of this will change. And I can blend it in all the way up into here if I want. And then when I pop the front of the face on it, I can paint this separately and all this will be actually on top or in front of this part of the face. So that's what the great thing is about layers. It's so like this layer will be listed as body because I just want it to be separate so the face part will actually pop on top of the body in front of it. And that way, if I start blending down in here and I come down farther, it's not going to mess any of this up. Or if I do reverse painting, if you can see my little circle, I don't know if you can see it. You see my little hand here. Okay. So see that circle? This is the eraser. And so if I do reverse painting, sometimes I'll make streaks to do highlights with my eraser. And I could come in and... It, it'll come all the way out, but once I get here, it won't erase any of this if I'm not on that layer. <clears throat> if you do any digital at all, you totally understood what I just said. If you don't, you might be like, huh? Because that's how I was until just really a few weeks ago. I'm still learning about the layers and labeling them and all that fun stuff. So don't feel bad. Just, yeah, I know what I like when, I don't know. When I watch uh, people's scopes, I kind of like to try to learn something I might not always know. So I'm just talking about it, guys. All right, so dark. I always do like st starting with the dark. It defines shapes. All right, I'm just going to lay this in really quick. And basically, it's going to be a guideline for me on... Um, Color transitions. Obviously, I'll still have my drawing to look at. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry I was, like, talking about crazy stuff, and now I'm, like, falling this in. Um, pop in and say hi, and let me know what's going on. See, now this, is, now this is what I wanted to do this. You'll see right here. So when I draw here, it's going to go under all these lines. And none of these lines are going to get smeared up with me going this direction. See? Where if these were on the same layer and I went this direction, these lines are going to get all um, smeared in that direction if I go to blend them. So that's, that's why I wanted the different layers. Because so I can actually bring everything in that direction and not worry about not worry about messing up the stuff that is on top that's going a different direction. Alright. Okay, you see I'm like defining these different if you can't see, I don't know. These these like white layers will be different. Oh thanks. The white layers, hey Larissa, the white layers will be different like sections of hair. It's just like a different layer and that's why they're a little lighter. I have to go make dinner in a little bit. I don't want to. I totally just 
Like, I think I should have the whole weekend off. And my son did want to take us out to dinner, but it's so crappy and rainy here today. And we had to get out super early to take my Chewy to the vet for his shots. And then by the time we, then we had to go to grocery store because we didn't do it yesterday. I don't know why we didn't do it yesterday. I don't know. We didn't. Oh, because we were boat shopping yesterday. That's why. <laughs> oh, how could I forget that? We went boat shopping yesterday, so we didn't go grocery shopping. Whoosh. Um, shh. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. You'll be the first to know. <laughs> so, um, we didn't go grocery shopping yesterday. So I had to do it today, and I'm not a big fan of, you know, grocery shops. It was like, go to Aldi's, go to Walmart, because you need all this stuff. And, ugh. and I came home, and I was like, I really don't want to go out again. Thanks for the offer of taking us out to eat, but we'll do it another time. What is the second best day? What? Here it comes. Mm, yeah, it could, I, I don't know. It could be a sad day. I think it'd be sad. <laughs> well, we're actually looking at a pontoon boat. Do you know what those are? Do you know what a pontoon boat is? It's like a party boat. And, um, yeah, well, well, where I live, I am s surrounded by water. I, I live on an island, so we have water so close to us that literally my husband could come home from work and probably within 15 minutes, yeah, my husband could come home from work and probably in 15 minutes we could be out on the boat fishing sort of thing. So I said, babe, you work hard, you can relax. And we sit here all summer and we get woken up every Saturday. <laughs> we get woken up by jet skis and things because, you know, you have your windows open and they wake us up every Saturday. And I'll be like gardening in my yard. And I, I hear the people, wahoo, tubing on the river and stuff. And it's like, really, guys? Eh. So, yeah. Can't talk about it anymore. My husband's home, but you'll be the first to know. Stay tuned. All right, this is probably where, I, yeah. And then everybody will be here, and everybody comes here all summer, so he's part of it. All right. This I'm talking about my family and stuff. Come here, and on my scope here, doing a dog. And this is where I am going to leave it today. I it just stopped. I have to switch laundry and make dinner. And all that fun stuff. And no way that oh no, that's my husband. <laughs> she no said, "Hi, son." Just, just oh yes. Yeah, the stuff's not even still warm, so. I'm getting busted for not changing the yeah, laundry. Yeah, you are busted. All right. I've been gone for an hour, and it only had thirty minutes left when I left. Oh. Busted. I'm busted. <laughs> she said, "My friend, my girl Marissa says, leave her alone." I'm the one doing the laundry. <laughs> Because I know how to work it. <laughs> oh, shush. We're live. Don't talk like that. <laughs> I'm going to go make dinner now, actually, guys. So, this is where I'm at. You get to see a beginning of a dog portrait. And we'll see um, some progress on this probably tomorrow at some point. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I will see you guys later. Thanks for stopping in and giving me the love. I appreciate it. And I'll see you out there in Scopeland and on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.